Hi YouTube, I'm Dave and I'm going to be talking about this, the Staff Sling. The Staff Sling is an ancient weapon. We first know of it from De Re Militari, written in the 4th century by Vegetius. That's the late Roman period. It's not written about for example in the time of Julius Caesar so it probably came into existence at some time between those points. It was used right up until the invention of gunpowder. In Roman times it was used by auxiliary soldiers in battle. Later it's very often seen as an improvised weapon used in the defence of sieges. It's a very simple weapon. In essence it's a handheld trebuchet. You have a staff, two cords and a pouch. One cord end is permanently attached, the other can just slip off, releasing the projectile from the pouch. I find a staff in this sort of size range works well for me. Any longer than that, and it's too long to reload with easily. There are many different ways that you can make the pouch in the centre of the sling. This is a small pouch made for stones. It's made from a rectangular piece of leather. Holes made with a hole punch take the cords. This is a larger pouch made for tennis balls. Here the cords go past each other and tie on using a knot called the fisherman's knot. You need an even number of holes down each side of the pouch and there are a couple of small knots here to prevent the pouch from sliding. You need a loop to go on the end of the staff. The other end is permanently tied onto the staff with a noose. The end of this staff is carved into a hook. Now this isn't absolutely necessary. You can use a plain end if you want to get into staff slinging very quickly. You can do that and it works. But it works much better with a hook. The hook is not too deep, same as the diameter of the cord. The angle of the hook is about 30 degrees. The surface of the hook is rounded like the surface of the stick. You don't want a flat surface because that will create sharp edges that will wear the cord. The sides and the underside of the hook are tapered. This allows the loop to slip off very easily as the angle changes. The length of the cords is critical. This determines whether the staff sling will throw high or low. This staff sling has very long cords. You can see it releases late and the shot goes down into the ground. Here the cords have been shortened and the staff sling now throws on a higher trajectory going further. This is what you want. You will need to adjust the length of the cords on your sling to make your staff sling throw the way you want it to. I'm right-handed, so left-handers reverse all of this. For speed and ease of use, you want your left hand on the high position on the staff. All reloading operations are done with the right hand. To shoot, turn sideways to face your target, like an archer. Left foot forward. Raise the staff overhead. Point it directly at the target. Release the pouch and move your right hand to the lower end of the stick and throw with a powerful push-pull motion. The throw should finish with the staff pointing directly towards the target. Eliminate all side-to-side -side motion in your throw and you will be very accurate. 